When two or more forces act on a body, physicists will combine the vectors to find the single force that will have the same result. This is called the resultant. In my last two presentations, I showed you how to find the resultant when the angle between the two forces is 0 degrees and 180 degrees. In this lesson, you will learn how to find the resultant when the angle equals 90 degrees. The method you will learn about only applies to forces that are connected tail to tail. The side of a force vector that has the arrow is called the head, and the other side is called the tail. When vectors are connected tail to tail, both forces are pulling forces. If one force is pulling and the other force is pushing, the vectors are connected head to tail. Finding resultants when the angle between the forces is 90 degrees. A 5 newton force pulls an object north while a 12 newton force is pulling the object west. Find the resultant. There are two methods that you can use to solve this type of problem. One method is called the graphical method. In the graphical method, you find the resultant by drawing the force vectors to scale. The technique for finding a resultant when the vectors are tail to tail is called the parallelogram method. The first thing you must do is to produce a scale that relates centimeters to newtons. Since these vectors are not too large, I will make one centimeter represent one newton. The 5 newton force will be 5 centimeters long and the 12 newton force will be 12 centimeters long. The next step to finding the resultant of these two forces is to create a parallelogram by adding two dotted lines parallel to the force vectors. The resultant is drawn from the tails of the two vectors to the other side of the parallelogram. We have a drawing of the vector, but now we need to find the vector's magnitude and direction. Since we've drawn the two vectors to scale, all we have to do to find the magnitude of the resultant is to measure the length. The resultant is drawn here is 13 centimeters long, so its magnitude is 13 newtons. The angle between the force and the easterly direction is 23 degrees, so the direction is 23 degrees north of west. In order to find the direction of a result, we need to measure the angle it makes with either the west or the east. Before we do this, I need to go over how to use a protractor. First, you need to ignore the angles on the protractor that are greater than 90 degrees. The angle shown here is 21 degrees. The direction of the force is 21 degrees north of west. The force is close to the east, so to find the direction, we measure the angle the force makes with the easterly direction. Since we ignore the angles on the protractor greater than 90 degrees, the angle is 71 degrees. We would call it 71 degrees north of east. The second method for finding the resultant when the angle between the forces is 90 degrees is to use the Pythagorean theorem and the trig function tangent. Look at the picture here and you will see that the resultant is the hypotenuse of a right triangle with a base of 12 newtons and a height of 5 newtons. The Pythagorean theorem gives us a resultant of 13 newtons. Since forces are vectors, we will need to use tangent to get the angle. Tangent is opposite over adjacent and the inverse tangent of 5 divided by 12 is 22.6 degrees. So the resultant is 13 newtons, 22.6 degrees north of west. We will always denote the direction of a resultant by stating the angle the force makes with either the westerly or easterly direction. Here are some examples. We have 35 degrees north of west, 50 degrees north of east, 80 degrees south of east, and 65 degrees south of west. Let's look at another example. Concurrent forces, forces acting together, of 10 newtons east and 10 newtons south act on an object. Let's use the trig and the Pythagorean theorem to solve this problem. 
Since we have a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude of the resultant. The magnitude of the resultant is 14 newtons. This comes from a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is 10 newtons squared plus 10 newtons squared equals r squared, which is resultant. So 100 plus 100 is 200. Radical 200 is 14. The angle the resultant makes with the easterly direction can be found using the tangent function. The inverse tangent of 10 divided by 10 is 45 degrees. The resultant is 14 newtons, 45 degrees south of east. When two forces are separated by 90 degrees and are connected tail to tail, we can use the parallelogram method to find the resultant. When we draw the vectors to scale, we can use a protractor and a ruler to find the direction and magnitude of the resultant. A more accurate way to find the resultant is to use the Pythagorean theorem and the tangent function. And this is the end of my presentation on how to find the resultant of two vectors that are separated by an angle of 90 degrees.